Hi everybody! Welcome to my backyard. Michelle Leggio here. And if you're like me, you're missing your water workouts as much as I am. So I'm going to do one for you today, both on deck and in the water. So if you don't have a spa that you can warm to a lovely 88 to 90 degrees, um, you can still do these exercises uh, in your own home, maybe on a nice comfortable carpeted surface. Other than that, if you do have a spa, now's the time. Don't let it quite get up to therapy temp because you don't want to do hard cardio in such a warm atmosphere. But 88, 86, 90 degrees should be perfect. Um, so I'm gonna get started. Just do some basic cardio moves and we'll, uh, we'll do this together. All right, here we go. Jog it up. Standing tall, shoulders back, collarbones wide. Pull those elbows back, draw your knees up. Nice easy warm up in four, three, two, go into a nice easy front kick. Think about getting taller through the exercise. Wide fingers, promotes a little more drag, perfect for the water. I'm gonna go wide with those kicks. We call V kicks. Notice my arms go a little wider in the water. Now normally I'd be wearing my aqua shoes right now, but I noticed they made too much noise, so I'm going with bare feet. These are pendulum swings. So I hope you're doing well. I certainly miss my aqua peeps. You're my de-stressor. What do I do without you? Nice easy pendulum swings and right into hamstring curls. Get a little lower on these, heels back. Again, moving your arms nice and wide. Four more here. Three, two, and into a back kick. Think about your glutes here. Keep them tight your body tall. And four more, we're gonna go into a lunge. Three, two, and lunge it up. Now try and drop that back heel to get a stretch through your calf. Now I'm not sure how big your spa is. Mine's medium size, I'd say. You probably have enough room to do this exercise in the spa, but it's close. Use what you can. Nice big sweeping arms here. Fingers wide, dropping your back heel. Looking good, four more, and three. Here's two, and last one, a little shake. In between, twist it out, and go a little low, lift it up high, take it wide. So we're gonna go into a rocking chair here. Again, space may be limited, so your range of motion may not be exactly what we'd want it to be, but do what you can in the space that you have. Knee up, kick back. Knee up, kick back. Four more. Three, two, and we're gonna switch to the other side. Knee up, kick back. Looking good. Last one, right into jumping jack. And you can turn that jack depending on, again, the space you have. Keep that jack, hold it here, hop. Now I'm not gonna do this very much since I'm barefoot on concrete, but right here, doing froggy loop is good. Four more, three, two, and hold the legs, forward and back, extension, extension, 
round the back and we'll add flexion extension, flexion and extension, flexion and extension. All right, so I'm gonna jump in this water and we're gonna go again. I think you can see me, the way I angled the camera. By the way, check out my farm stand. Oh, feeling good. Oh, so right into that easy job. Think about it. Again, getting taller. Shoulders back, chest nice and wide, knees up. Pull your elbows back. The solid range of motion. can even do this exercise getting low and kind of sitting down, pulling the elbows back, body's tall, standing tall, and here's those front kicks, oh look, I have just enough room, and again, wide fingers produces more drag, pops forward, pumps back, I'm going to take this into pendulum and have to twist because my I'm on a rectangular spot here. Turning in into a back kick. Squeeze the glutes, lift the chest, shoulders back, big arm extension. Four more. Three, two, here's that lunge. I'm limited on space here, but I have enough to drop my heel. And how about big wide arms here? Palms back and palms forward. So one leg forward, one leg back linear, linearly in a linear fashion. Four more. And three, two, and here's your jumping jacks. Holding center. Remember that rocking chair. Knee up, leg kick back. Knee up, kick back. Be careful of your drains. I do have a drain in this class. Everybody does. And I'm landing on it. Four more. Three, two, and other side. Knee up, kick back. Knee up, kick back. A nice solid kick. Squeeze the glute. Big arms, palms forward and back. Four, three, two, hold center, hop it up, take your legs wide, turn them out, and here's your froggy jumps. Push, 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 push. And we'll do four more here. Four, but three, nice, two, and last one, twist it out. So there's some cardio moves for you. You can repeat, do the moves you like, or just run, run, run. Might be nice to do 30 second jog, 30 second all out, 30 second jog, 30 second all out. Whatever ratios work best for you. So I'm gonna let this water settle a little bit. While I'm doing that, I'm just gonna do a nice side bend here. Bend the knees just slightly, keep the shoulders back, abs engaged, and leaning over. Four more, three, to hold center and the lean forward and back. Flexion of the spinal column, extension. Flexion and extension. This feels so good. Really pop the chest. And two more. Last one. Hold it up. We're going to go and do some stretches now. Just grab that knee, lean back. You'll get a wonderful hip flexor stretch for the front leg. Need a little something to hold on to for balance, perfectly fine. I'm gonna challenge your balance, let go, lean back just a little bit more. Press your hips forward, shoulders back, chest out. Same leg, we're gonna take it, top of the foot or ankle into the palm of the hand to be able to see me. Again, shoulders back, chest forward, push into the palm of your hand and lift up. If you'd like a balance challenge, other arm goes over the hip. 
waves in the pool push you over, so that's a good balance challenge. Very nice, same leg. So you can put that leg on, on a step, pick a step. I'm gonna bring it up a little higher so you can see. And I'm gonna fold over here into a hamstring stretch. Flex the feet, and you'll also add a calf stretch to that. So hamstring and calf. Very nice. I like a figure four stretch. I'm going to do that off the bottom of the pool so you can see it. My hands are supporting me on the step. Again, don't collapse the shoulders. Open up. So cross your right above your left knee, and then pull in your left knee. You can be sitting down on the bench as well, whatever works for you, but I'm trying to lift myself so you can see. Every exhale, draw that left knee in just a little bit more and open up your right knee. Very nice. Uncross. I'm going to grab here since I have something to wrap my fingers around and press forward. I call this Titanic in the pool. Be careful of scapular elevation here. So you might want to draw those hands back and just press forward. That's perfectly fine. Before we get to the other side, just lift and lower the shoulders, working that upper trapezius. Pull your shoulder blades back and down. Draw them together. Four more. Three. Good too, and some shoulder rolls always feel good. Up, back, down, and around. Let's go forward with it. A couple more. Hold, and then I always like to finish going backwards. Shoulder blades come together. Somebody's mowing their lawn now, so we'll finish on the other side. So one leg up, and drop forward. Hamstring stretch, so this is the back of your thigh right here. Every exhale, you wanna go a little bit lower. Don't let the shoulders collapse again, keep them wide. And if you'd like to flex this front foot, you can even pull back on the toes if you like. You'll add your calf muscle into this stretch. Big inhales here, fill your lungs, expand the rib cage, exhale, release that air. Draw your rib cage together, grab that knee, and lean back. Hold on to something if you need to, press your hip forward. Make sure your standing anchor leg, that your knee is soft. Put one more breath, big inhale. Exhale, stand tall, top of the foot into the palm of the hand. I start knee close to the opposite knee, so you're not getting too much hyperextension there. Shoulders wide, press into the palm of your hand. Balance challenge, let go, and reach over. Pick a focal point, that always helps. Take a deep breath up. Exhale. One more. Here comes the power. Inhale up. And pump down heart centers. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Keep the faith. Hang tough. We'll get through this. And again, if you have a spa in your backyard, there's no reason you can't get your water workout in. Take care.